Hey guys, welcome to this Facebook ads training and in today's training I'll be showing you how you can move ads from a particular Facebook ad account to a different Facebook ad account. So you might be thinking why exactly would I need this? So typically I was running a Facebook ad campaign for a client over the last um, few months. So I've been running this campaign and um, I'm running it on a dollar account, but I'm trying to move that campaign to a new country and I want to move it to a new ad account, like the, a new ad account currency entirely. So typically, I did not want to go about the process of setting up all of the ads from scratch. So let's use this ad as an example. So let's use this one called the IELTS test main. So it's an IELTS um, campaign. So you would see in this ad, there's one ad set and then we have three ads in it, right? So you can see we have three ads. So if I were to go to a new ad account or if I were to be like the normal random person out there, then I'll have to start clicking on create. Then I have to set up the old ads from scratch on a new ad account, but you don't have to do that just so that you can retain a lot of things on your ads. So your ads will remain exactly the same. And not just that, a lot of the um, impressions, the likes and all of the information, the data gathered on that ad would remain. So all you need to do is simply click on this side left bar where you can see the check mark. So simply click on that check mark. And once you click on the check mark, um, click on the more button and once you click on the more you will see export selected right and once you click on export selected you will see export as XLS, XLSX don't export as CSV don't export as text only export as XLSX right now you click on export and it downloads so once it downloads of course you save it to your computer and then you open it up in your Excel, like your Microsoft Excel sheets. So once you open it up on your Excel sheets, just like you can see it here, uh, you enable editing and then all you just simply need to do is you come here, you delete the campaign ID. So pay attention here, you delete the campaign ID. Once you're done deleting the campaign ID, you look for the ad set ID, you delete the ad set ID, and then you also keep going then you would look for the ad ID. So you look for the ad ID. I'm just going to look for that. Um, it's not always so easy to find sometimes. So you simply look for the ad ID and it's here. So you delete the ad ID. One, two, three. So once you're doing all of those, the don't delete in. So you save. And once you save, you can close that tab, right? So all you need to do now is go to the new ad account you want to use. So in this case, I would move to this new ad account. So once you get to the new ad account, all you simply need to do is click on more and then you will see import ads in bulk. So once you see import ads in bulk, ensure that you click on text or Excel file, then you choose the file from your computer. So I would choose this one and then I would move it in and then once i'm done i would import it so you can see it's a totally new ad account there's nothing on this ad account i'm just using it for this demonstration and you will see what happens in a moment so you can see close and boom we have the new ad here so you can see we click on it here you can see the ad campaign you can see the ad sets and you can see all of the ads. And you know the interesting thing about this and why I love this particular thing is the fact that it moves your page like everything. You can see the ad itself, even the likes on the page. So you simply don't have to do any edit. The only edit you need to do is on the pixel. So you simply go to the ad set side and you want to ensure that you're like, uh, what's it called? Tracking the right conversion. So in this case, uh, let's say we are, we are running the, the stuff for leads, right? So you basically want to set your conversion events for leads and then for the pixel. So you basically need to go to your events manager and then link your pixel to this current ad account. And once you're able to link your pixel to this current ad account, you would be good to go. So don't create a new pixel if you don't want to. Most times I prefer to move the old pixel to this new ad account as well and just retain the same campaign and from experience what i've seen is that most times 
this campaign is going to perform as well as the other one you're leaving it for so whether you're leaving that ad account because facebook shuts it down as long as they didn't shut it down because of this ad so you don't have to go through the stress of creating the ad all over again you can simply do this and then move your ads to a new ad account and you would be good to go so that's it i hope this um, video was helpful i hope you were able to learn a thing or two follow for more subscribe to my channel and you would be able to get a thing or two out of this channel in the future see you later bye